Dear colleagues, I faced a lot of challenges in this case. This is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us see how the case was managed. By this time, the main incision and on site wood has been made. The capsule has been stained. Now, this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. Now, I have to do capsular excess. Now, see what happens. As soon as the anterior capsule is punctured, milky fluid comes out and I can't see anything. The anterior capsule is not visible. So, I have to aspirate this milky fluid. And a lot of milky fluid comes out through this opening in the anterior capsule and after the milky fluid is removed I inject viscoelastic substance. In this case I have taken viscoat as well as HPMC. This is HPMC and now I take a utrita forceps. I hold the capsular tag, go anticlockwise and try to do rexis. But see what happens here. I had to, I faced a resistance in pulling this capsule here at 6 o'clock. However, I could do with it, but I noticed some genular weakness between 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Rexis is done. This is an adequate size rexis. And now, in this case, I am going to inject viscoat behind the nucleus, that is, between the posterior capsule and the nucleus, to make a cushion of viscoat. Viscoat is a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate. It's a product from Alcon nice product no financial interest just for the for my colleagues who are new in this ophthalmic field and now i could hold this nucleus with bevel down with bevel up i tried this is an edited video with bevel up i tried to hold the nucleus but i failed so I could hold the nucleus with bevel down and I could chop it into some fragments. Yes, the nucleus has been divided into two heminuclei and now I try to emulsify the fragments. But I notice that by this time the viscoat which are used behind the nucleus has come off and I am afraid to do rexis because the posterior capsule is flapping. Anytime I can do a PC rent. However, I am very cautiously I'm holding each fragment and dividing into two parts and now I start emulsifying the fragments see I am keeping one fragment over the posterior capsule and now I am injecting some viscoat to send the posterior capsule further behind and then I am emulsifying this piece after every fragment is emulsified, I am injecting some viscoat and then I am emulsifying this piece. In this way, very slowly and gradually, I emulsified the pieces, but I could not take the risk of emulsifying the last piece and I lost courage to emulsify the last piece. 
here you can see that I am frequently injecting viscoat and after injecting viscoat I am emulsifying on fragment. FECO power used in this case is 70%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. And vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Now, in this case, I notice that the capsule was coming off from 5 o'clock. Where well, I noticed journaler weakness. So, I am placing a CTR through the main incision. The CTR should be placed from the area from the uh, side port or main port which is diagonally opposite the area of weakness. In this case, the journaler weakness is at 5 o'clock. So, I am inserting the CTR through the main wound which is at 11 o'clock and here I always take a chopper and I place it over the Sinsky hook and the CTR goes into the equatorial part of the capsular bag and now I go again and emulsify this fragment. But I notice that the posterior capsule is coming very close to the aspirating port. So very gently and very slowly I am emulsifying each fragment. See, I caught the posterior capsule but I released it immediately and now I don't have the courage to emulsify this last fragment. So what I do is I implant the intraocular lens at this stage in the capsular bag. This is acryol from IO care. It's a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens and the lens goes into the capsular bag and now I have some relief. I breathe out and take some rest and now I confidently and without any fear of catching the posterior capsule I emulsify this last fragment. So dear colleagues whenever you face such cases when the posterior capsule frequently comes to the tip of the phaco handpiece and when the journal is weak you can implant the intraocular lens before emulsifying the last fragment or last few fragments and now I remove the viscoelastic substance, hydrate the side board, form the entire chamber and close the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in your practice, develop surgical skills. That is my, that is my aim to develop, to uplift the surgeons in this field.